what's up guys it's your boy Siobhan here back with a new video so I know you haven't seen me in a while but we're finally back in full effect with another video so as you know school is right around the corner and there's a lot of bunch of laptop videos surfacing around the web but this one is kind of different because this is the best back to school gaming budget laptop so the laptop we'll be talking about is the Dell Inspiron 7559 and this one I have in front of me is 16 gigs RAM I said before um Core i7, pretty good, but without any further ado, let's jump into the video. First off, guys, we're gonna look at the top surface of the laptop. It has a really nice soft touch finish. I took the gray colorway, so my Dell logo is plastered in a dark silver gray shiny finish look. Now the soft touch finish that covers 80% of the laptop is something that isn't built for day-to-day -day use like torturing it So you have to treat it with care and tender loving also Don't forget to wash your hands before you use this laptop because it doesn't go well with grease But if you don't like the soft touch finish you can opt in for the plastic finish But to me the plastic finish does not feel as premium if we flip over this laptop, we are now exposed to a plastic surface that protects the bottom of the laptop. It is also accentuated with two red rubber strips and it prevents the laptop from sliding around when placed on a flat surface. We also have the subwoofer down there and also a single screw to access the internals. Inside we have the hard drive, an empty slot for a second hard drive if you please, and also the RAM slots. I bought the 8 gig version but if you want you could upgrade to 16 gigs and that's what I did so it's definitely flexible when it comes on to upgrading the hardware in your laptop it's a little bit less than an inch thick definitely not something to carry around day to day but it's for school so it's around five pounds I've been using this since last year it kind of put a strain on me because I've been walking towards to get the bus which is about 15 minutes walk so if you don't really have a lot of walking to do if you're just if you drive to school if someone picks you up it won't be an issue you could bring it in your hand or you could just put it in your backpack on the left side we have the power connection we have the exhaust vents a pair of USB 3 port the headphone jack and on the flip side we have the SD card slot another USB port the HDMI slot and the Ethernet jack. On the back side of the laptop, we also have some red metal fins. They look cool, but don't play around with them too much because they could bend easily because it's made out of a thin metal. The overall build quality of this laptop is really good. The hinge is solid, so when you're using touchscreen, I don't really have a lot of flex, which is good. I will get back to the touchscreen a little bit, so keep that in mind. The keyboard is really good though. And it's definitely one of my favorite things about this laptop. It also has backlit with two levels of brightness. So if you work in a bat cave, this would be the best laptop for you. I mean, every laptop now has backlit keyboard, so I don't think that should be an issue at this very moment. The model I have in front of me is the quad core i7 running at 2.6 gigahertz, which can also go up to 3.5 gigahertz when being overclocked. It has the GTX 960M with 4 gigs of video RAM and it's also a 15.6 inch 4K touchscreen display, 8 gigs of RAM and 1 terabyte of hard drive storage. So as I said before, I upgraded mine to 16 gigs just like a week ago. So keep that in mind but the base model I got had 8 gigs that's why I told you that it's 8 gigs it will cost you around a thousand dollars if you're in Canada or if in the US it will be around 800 bucks including tax now let's talk about playing games on this laptop playing games is really really fun and smooth especially when you bump it up to 16 gigs of RAM I haven't had any issues running Black Ops 3 and GTA 5 on this thing. I usually get around 60 FPS on high settings. The trackpad is accurate enough. I use it a lot even though I have my mouse. I always tend to lean towards the trackpad. I really didn't love the texture on the surface so I got a carbon fiber skin from Dbrand to replace that instead. And also it keeps it for away from grease. Now let's go back to the screen as I said before I will get back to the screen. The screen is a 15.5 inch touchscreen display at a 4K resolution. The webcam up top is a 720p camera 
to be honest I didn't use it until I was making this video and this is how it looks looks alright to me I think it's okay for a laptop camera and you could get away with a few Skype calls on this but maybe not for the long run you might have to invest in a webcam no, this is the laptop I use to edit all my 4K videos. The playback quality is very smooth when you set the playback quality to half, but the rendering times may take a while if you're running the 8 gig version. But since I've bumped it up to 16 gigs, I've been getting blazing fast speed from this thing. And not only that, I can also edit my thumbnails while my video is rendering in the background. As I said before guys, the games run very smoothly, I have only tried Black Ops 3 and Grand Theft Auto 5 and I honestly didn't have any issues, I played long hours with this thing, I'm really satisfied with the performance. The speakers are at the top of the keyboard and they sound decent but not anything to die for, they are loud but not so clear. Mine at this very moment has a speaker issue and when it goes up to the high decibel range it tends to a buffer and have this weird sound that I don't really like so what I do instead is I use a wireless headphone or you could hook up a bluetooth speaker to this thing instead of using the internal speakers because they tend to be a nightmare. The system noise isn't so bad, it idles around 20 decibels and goes up to 36 when playing games. It doesn't really get all that hot to handle though it is a good thing. The battery life isn't all that bad. I get around 4 hours on full charge while browsing but when consuming media and games it lasts around 2 hours which is to be expected. Not really a big issue to me but it's worth noting. So all in all this is a very good laptop right here. I really enjoy using it. Hopefully it will last around 5 years. So if you're looking for a great laptop for back to school which could handle games such as Black Ops high title games Grand Theft Auto 5 this is definitely something you could invest in and also please buy the cheaper model which is the 8GB RAM and you could upgrade to a 16GB RAM. The 4K display is really needed for me since I am a video producer and also I liked sharp images so the text looks sharper and the overall display image is really good. The RBG color rating is around 90%. That's a, that's a plus when it comes on to the display. You could easily opt in for the 1080p version, but it's up to you depending on if the screen quality is a major impact on your day-to-day -day use. But with, with that being said, guys, great laptop, great price, really, really good investment. So if you like the video, drop a like down below. If you think I missed anything, please let me know down below in the comment section. More videos will be coming soon, but it might be slow because of school week. And always guys, love, peace, and tweaks, signing out.